So tell me, what are we about to see here today? So today we're announcing an autonomous control system that is able to successfully complete obstacle avoidance maneuvers in emergency situations up to the same speeds as a professional test driver. Nice, and can you tell me a little bit about the technology itself? Sure, uh, the technology really is inspired by professional test drivers, and I can explain a bit why. It's because, um, despite popular belief, our feeling is that humans are actually pretty amazing drivers. You know, in most developed countries, they can do less than one fatality per 100 million miles. That's really hard to beat. However, meeting and beating that benchmark is essential to ensure safety and realize the dreams of our autonomous cars. And so that's why it's essential we learn from the best of the best. And so what we're going to show you here today is the first time we've seen a demonstration that can show the same level of performance as a professional test driver's in emergency obstacle avoidance. Can you give me an example of some of these emergency obstacles? Yeah, so what we're going to have here today is we actually have six inflatable obstacles out here. And we're going to deploy them uh, in pairs to surprise either the driver or Cali here. And so by doing so, we can simulate this sort of scenario, and, um, which requires a very, very quick evasive maneuver to complete. Um, how fast can this car go and still you know, avoid these obstacles? It depends tremendously on the conditions and the situation. Um, so the scenario we have set up here today, um, we're gonna be testing up to speeds of around 27 miles an hour. Which may not sound like much, but we're on this loose gravel surface here. Those conditions change from day to day. Uh, it's roughly speaking half of between that of ice and dry road in terms of what it can do. Okay, great. Well, let's get on the road then, shall we? Sounds like a plan. <laughs>